Hi guys, it's Franny with Franny Sketches. Um, the page that I'm doing today, I jumped up because of the damage that was in the top left corner. So the damage is from the last painting video that I did, which was painting plaid. And basically it bled through, or actually I think it went over the top of the page, but it doesn't really matter. So I tried to address that. Here I am mixing a nice gray color. And it looks like a shark fin right now. Like it looks like that's what I'm painting but it's not, it's a path. So I had originally tried to use marker instead of acrylic paint because I think it's safer for books and also I get sick of painting sometimes. But it didn't look very good, so I caved and I pulled out my acrylics, I mixed up the color, and here I am filling in what's going to be a path. So for context, what this book is, is it's essentially an art scrapbook of my relationship with my boyfriend. So this is my 70th page that I've done. I'm really excited to finish it. The book is 100 pages long, so I still have 30 to go, and I'll be showing you guys a final flip through at the end. But here I am, I tried to do the sky in marker, and that also did not work. So here I am mixing my acrylic paints once again. I just love that swirl. It reminds me of those um, cream savers. I guess I was gonna say that we had when we were kids, but I had them when I was kids. I don't know about you guys. But here I am covering up the damage. And this damage was the inspiration for this entire idea. It was the inspiration for my last video. It's because I needed a way to cover up the acrylic paint splotches. So I decided to make these trees, and which is basically just printer paper painted and then put over. So I mixed three greens together in a very similar style that I did the branches of trees that I'm gonna put on in a little bit. And the way that I put the leaves on the trees, which you'll see later, is something that I did in my previous video, so if you're interested, you can go watch that as well. But here I am filling in the grass with three different colors and kind of blending them together. It took me a while to fill the grass in, not too long, I didn't do it super detailed. This whole painting ends up looking a little bit childish. Like it kind of looks like your second grader could do it, but I really like it anyways, and it's a nice contrast to the other artwork in my book. Not that it's all super fancy, but I just don't have any pages that really look like this. So I added in all the grass, and the vertical lines that you see going down the page is actually from packing tape on the other side. I tend to use packing tape on my pages when I'm done, I try not to do it before I've painted on the other side because it can sometimes get weird, especially if I try to do watercolor or something really wet on the other side. It just acts really funky, but with acrylic paint, it makes me nervous because I used to always have an issue where when I would close my book, the paint would stick and then it would rip the page when I opened it. So I try to tape my books just for safety measures on pages that I'm concerned about, and I was concerned about the page on the other side. But I showed you me mixing up my brown for the trees, and here I am coloring it in. The tree trunks look very elementary, but that's okay. The main reason I was painting was to add those leaves that I'm gonna add in a little bit. So here I am adding the branches. It's not very cute and I didn't worry about making it look nice because I'm just going to be covering these branches with leaves. So I knew that and so I just let them kind of look all goofy like this. <laughs> So I'm still adding trees. I'm trying to keep perspective in mind. I'm trying to draw the, far, the ones that are farther away a little bit shorter and the ones up close bigger and wider. Um, I, didn't, I wasn't going for realism clearly, but I just wanted to give a nice effect that you're looking down a path that curves to the right. So here are the leaves or I guess boughs that I had cut up a while ago so those I made in my last video and you can look at that video if you want to see how I did that but here I am using Elmer's stick glue <laughs> 
to put these on to the painting. They didn't stick amazingly, but it wasn't too bad. And so I'm just putting them where I think they would look good, where it kind of matches with what the branches are doing. Um, here I am trying to pick off the washi tape. I needed to washi tape the page down because it was actually curling upward because of the paint. And I think that's because of the washi tape, or not washi tape, the packing tape on the other side. And so basically, this is just printer paper with watercolor on it. I used three different greens, and then I cut it out in like cloud shapes, and here I am putting them all on. And I ended up running out, so here I am making a new page of the same thing. So, just mixing my colors around. There's no real pattern or purpose for where I'm putting colors. I use the same colors so that it would match, but yeah it's just blending it all in making it watery making it blendy and then once this dries i'll go and cut those out in those same cloud patterns so here's the page when it's dry i didn't do the whole thing because i didn't need that many leaves i had taken the project outside at this point so here I am cutting the boughs. Just trying to get some nice big big leaves to cover up the empty spaces that I didn't see so many of the branches. And here is the final page. I hope you guys like it. It was really fun to make and fun to share with you as well. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.